Welcome to MLB The Show and this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Indianapolis Indians and the Iowa Cubs. We've got baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Cole Stewart is on the mound for game two. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this guy is doing quite a job against lefties. He's held lefties to an under 200 batting average to start the season, so he's doing a lot of things right when the lefties step into the batter's box. Ready now is Jiwon Bay, and we are set for baseball here this Leading evening. Indianapolis, the shortstop, Jiwon Bay. And now the first pitch sent in the air out to straightaway center. Roterer is there and he has it for the first out. Batting second. Time now to give you a look at the batting order for the visiting squad. What's your take as they try to get back to their winning ways, Dero? Yeah, Maddie, you take a look up and down this lineup. One thing jumps out, a lot of guys with some quality batting averages. They find themselves in the top third of the league in batting average, and that usually bodes well. As the season gets long, if you can keep your approach, usually leads to winning games. Lolo Sanchez comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Guys, we take a look at the home nine as they take the field tonight. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Matty B. We're looking at a team right now. They're just playing some average baseball through four games of this homestand. They split it two and two, Dero, and I think they expect a little bit more. Yeah, and you don't want to be playing average baseball in front of your home fans. They need to find a way to win this game and, and, and try and take three out of the first five of this homestand. The 0 2 pitch. Pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. Not a bad night to bring the parka along. 54 degrees at game time. One out, nobody on. Ball two. Stays alive, still two and two. Got him swinging, chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with a strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. And here now is Wilmer Defoe. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball, 1-0. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. And 2 0 oh as this one's taken low. Three and O oh now. Two out, nobody on. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two out walk. That the first base number 35. Runner at first with two gone in the inning. And up next is Will Craig. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. In the dirt here, and it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. 
And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Well the graphic here isn't going to properly show just how far that pitch was from the strike zone. That thing wasn't even close and I think it made the decision to move up a base pretty easy to make. Ready with the one one. A ball and two strikes now. One and two here it is slider whiffed on for strike three a great pitch to put an end to the inning. So they get a man to second here in the top half but he's stranded there. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one no score. Quinn Priester a right hander from Illinois will be the starter here. Dan Plezak what's the word on him. Hey we look a lot at numbers from starting pitchers walks to innings pitch but one of the key stats I look for is whip and he has a sub 1.30 whip coming into this start which tells me he throws strikes he's not afraid to get the ball in the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if he can string together some real quality innings in this one. Now to the plate Ian Miller he'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first fastball well outside fellows are visiting team as they take the field after a scoreless top half they have not been playing their best baseball of late as they've dropped four of their last five yeah Maddie this road trip's been a little bit of a struggle for this team first four games they find themselves one and three haven't played particularly well they'll find a way to regroup they have to find a way to play a little bit more fundamentally sound start there first. And this one's up around the eyes two and one. Even count two balls and two strikes. Here now the two two. He is swung on and missed he got him on strikes. Boy that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes that elevated fastball every hitter thinks that hey they can do something with that but most of the time you get the result that you saw right there a big swing and a miss and another strikeout to the plate now Sergio Alcantara as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one the numbers 282 to start play still without a home run nine driven in. The 1 0. Hit on the ground out to short. He's right there. And there are two away now. Batting third. A chance now to take a look at how the home team lines up in this one. What's the key for a home victory tonight, Dero? Well, Maddie, one thing that jumps out at me is the fact that this is a modern day lineup. A lot of swing and miss. But not many people concerned about it. We were around the cage during batting practice. These guys are trying to drive the baseball out of the yard. They are not concerned with taking three and going back to the dugout. Reined in. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. And inning in the books tonight still scoreless here on the show. Second inning set to go and standing in the outfielder Blake Sable. Now here's the pitch. Here comes the 0 1. Oh, and look out as they brush him back here. It's ball one. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah that was really well executed Matt a classic strikeout pitch you think it's fastball middle in then it starts bearing in on your back leg and unless you hit it out front there's nothing much you can do with that.
standing in now Philip Evans as he takes a cold strike at the knees it's 0 and 1 he'll come into this one with an average way down at 235 one home run 13 RBIs. Grounded to short. And there's out number two. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Base is empty, two away. And that brings up the catcher, Tony Walters. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Right through it here, and he's behind 0 and 1. Whoa, he was swinging out of his shoes on that changeup. Must have looked real good coming in, but a different story once it got near the plate. And this pitch is up and in as he backs away. It's ball one. Well, that'll wake everyone up. Anytime you buzz the tower like that, there's reason for people to start getting a little bit edgy. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. That's a good job right there. You very rarely see pitchers double up where they go a pitch inside. Normally they'll go back outside, but he followed that up with another pitch on the inside part of the plate. Now the 2 1 pitch is strike two swinging. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. And it's fouled away. The 2 2 one more time. Swing and a liner. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Batting it. The left field, number 20. So next to hit is Chris Sharp. And as you can see, he's seen that average climb the last week or so. First pitch of the AB on its way. One on its way and he misses with it one and one no score here as we play inning number two one and two now. Fouled away. Here he comes again, one, two. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. The two, two. Doesn't get the zone, count full now. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked to count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. Now the payoff pitch home. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Well, he made quick work of the first two guys this half inning, getting two quick outs, but then he gives up a base hit and now the walk. We'll see if he has it in him to draw the line in the sand and get out of this. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Quinn Priester. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. And he takes ball one. Man. 35 pitches with only two outs in the second inning. Ideally, you'd like to have 30 or less after two innings, so he's got some catching up to do. Ready with the 1 0. And he fouls this one off. The 
the set and the one one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive with two guys already on pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Walters at second sharp at first two out in the inning. Fastball just missed above the zone. Well he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. The set and the three one pitch. Who thought he had ball four but instead it's strike two. Yeah from a pitcher's perspective right here you got to treat this guy like he's the four hole hitter with runners in scoring position I know it's the pitcher at the plate but you got to execute. He set the payoff pitch line toward right center and that is down for extra bases as this will get one home and maybe two. And the second run will score as that makes it a two nothing ball game. Now that Are you kidding me right here. The pitcher gets a two RBI yeah. base hit that breaks the tie and gives them a two run lead. You know there's an old theory that a swinging bat is a dangerous bat no matter who swings it. The last thing they were thinking of the opposing pitcher was going to drive in two. At the plate Jiwon Bay. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Runner in scoring position with two gone. The 1 0. And he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. Duffy has got it, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. Indianapolis leads it two to nothing. Last half of the second set to go, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Cole Roderer. You know, these next couple innings are really important for these guys. I know they're only down by a couple, but they need to get something going on offense to keep pace, even though it's early. Hey, not too often we see this hitter come outside his game plan, outside the zone, but that pitch was just so tempting. The windup and the 0 1. Hey, this guy hasn't reached the big leagues yet, but he's coming. You're going to know his name at some point. He just got a few more developmental things to work on. Wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Just a touch outside, 1 and 2. Into the wind up and the pitch. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Walters gathers. The throw to first is in time, 1 down. Digging in will be Donnie Deweese. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Pitch on the way. No balls and a strike to count. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. The wind up and the 0 1. High in the air down the right field line. Sable is over near the line now as he makes the catch for the second out of the inning. That exists. The first baseman, Jared Young. Now it'll be Jared Young, and he's looking to snap out of what's been a rather dry spell at the plate. First offering. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. 
Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up. Well, the play's been made, and with it comes the end of the inning. Top of the third set to get underway, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Lolo Sanchez. First pitch on its way. And it'll lay off a fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1 0. Up top, it's 2 0. Too high, and it's three and oh. Ball three to a leadoff hitter that can run. Not the greatest way to start this right here. I think right now you really have to start pouring some pitches into that strike zone. And oh, not so fast, partner. A called strike on the inside part of the plate. Three and one now. Now a fastball swung on and missed and it's full three and two. Hey excellent job to get yourself back in this count after throwing three consecutive balls. You got a chance to get an out right here. That's popped up and that'll get down for a base hit. The throw into second. And he's out trying to stretch it into a double, so a costly mistake here leading off the inning. Second baseman, Into the box, Wilmer Defoe, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. The numbers coming in, 278 the average, no home runs as of yet, and seven driven in. Ball and a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The first base, number 35, Will Craig. So here's the cleanup hitter, Will Craig. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First pitch on its way. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Bases are empty here with two men out. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Got his 2-0 fastball, but he was way behind. 2-1. and one. I mean, he had to. I'm going to give him benefit of the doubt and say he was sitting something off speed. Because to be laid on a fastball in a count like that is just unforgivable. 3-1 and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Down the first baseline. But a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. Two out, nobody on. Fouled off. Another one sent foul. 
Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. The next three two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Roterer gets there for the catch and that ends the inning. Leading up for the cup, the second baseman, Chase. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. 2-0 oh now. Now the pitch. Well, I'll tell you, from where I'm sitting, it looks like he's starting to rush his delivery out there. Someone needs to remind him to stay back and let his arm get out front. There's a strike with the fastball as he gets back in the count at three and one. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Left fielder looking up. Gone! Solo shot here to left. First home run of the campaign for him as they cut the lead in half. It's 2 1 now. Only the first hit of the night, but it was a big one. He absolutely punished that mistake, and you have to wonder if that will open the floodgates a little. And that will bring in Miguel Amaya. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. He'll enter play here with that average down in the low 200s. One home run and four RBIs. Two balls and no strikes. No outs, nobody on. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. But this will get foul two and one. Into the windup and the pitch. And it's two balls and two strikes now. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. Rounded down the third baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. Batting next to hit will be the pitcher, no pitcher. Cole Stewart. Cole. Now the first pitch. And it's fouled away. The 0 and 1 delivery. One out, nobody on. Rounded weakly to the left. Scooped up. And that's the second out. The right fielder, number six, Ian Miller. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Ian Miller. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. 
and we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. And this is on the outside corner for strike one. Now a curveball misses inside. The 1-1. One, one. Bases are empty here with two men out. To two and two now. Hey, nice job of bouncing back after the leadoff homer. Two quick outs after the bomb, and he's got a chance to get out of this. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. But not before they answer back here with a solo home run. We played three full, and this is now a two to one ball game. All set for the start of the inning, and digging in is the outfielder, Blake Sable. The right fielder, Blake Sable. He's set, and the pitch. Off the plate and away there, one ball, no strikes. Here comes the 1 0. First two pitches off the mark here, it's 2 0. He may be down 2 0 after those first two pitches in this AB, but those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. They did miss by a whole lot, so it's not like he's all over the place. 2 and 1 the count. Hit to short. He's got it. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Well executed two seamer on the outside corner that time. And, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. In now, Philip Evans. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And a strike to even the count 1 and 1. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. Out in front as this is skied in the air to straightaway left. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now batting, catcher, Tony Walter. And now Tony Walters he singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. He's set here it comes. The 1 0. Swing and a looper to left left fielder coming on. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. Kind of looked like he had gotten his bearings there. Dan was going to have a 1 2 3 inning, but not the case, giving up that late two out knock. Boy, this lineup is so deep. One through nine, they could put a hurting on you, and they're making him work, and he's given up a lot of base hits so far in this one. So far, this has not been an easy one for this pitcher. At the plate now, Chris Sharp. Out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left. Comes in with an average of 265. One home run and six RBIs. Now the 0-1. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly. On to second for the force out and the side is retired. One hit, one left. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. Indianapolis is out in front two to one. 
So now into the box is Sergio Alcantara. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First pitch on the way. Grounded up the first baseline. Reined in. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. The third baseman, number five, Matt Duffy. So bases are empty with one out now. And that means the corner infielder, Matt Duffy, will bet next. Now the first pitch. The 1 0 home. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Outside, 3 and 0 now. Bases are empty, one man out. Up in the strike zone, but the take sign was on 3 and 1. Yeah, this is one of my biggest pet peeves in the game. When guys get count leverage and take fastballs, it's a game of fastballs. You calibrate everything off the heater. Surprising take right there. The three and one pitch. Swing and a little tapper. I know he fouled that pitch off right there, but he was definitely out in front. He was cheating to a heater, no question about it. Now the payoff pitch home. Swing and a liner. But unfortunately, right at the shortstop for the second out. The center fielder, number seven, Cole Roeder. Next to hit is Cole Roderer looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Pitch on the way. And a ball, 1-0. Oh. Two out, nobody on. Fastball just inside. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first A-B, he went down on strikes. Outside and low, 3-0. If I'm managing this hitter right here, he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach. You know he's got the green light. He's one of the best hitters in your lineup. He loses him on ball four. This is only their second base runner of the game after that earlier hit. Tough to score when you don't have anyone on base, so we'll see if they can get something going here. So next to bat will be Donnie Deweese. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Before the first pitch, a check at first. And the runner back. First pitch on its way. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. The 1 0. Roterer, the runner at first with two gone. Now a throw over, a dive, but he's back. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive in a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. The one two. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal, you can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Here now the 2-2. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. 
And as it turns out the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. So no runs here on no hits no errors and a runner left. We played four full Indianapolis leads it two to one. Adbert Alzale, a six foot one inch right hander will be the one to get the call from the bullpen here. All ready to go in the top of the fifth and that'll bring up the pitcher Quinn Priester. Now here's the first offering. Swing and a liner. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. He's around first heading for two. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. When you've got the pitcher leading off an inning you have to feel pretty confident about getting the first out without much problems. But the pitcher with a bat in his hands had other ideas put some solid wood on it and found himself on second with the leadoff double. Stepping in now Jiwon Bay as he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Roterer is right there one down and the runner not tagging will retreat to second base. The center fielder, Lolo Sanchez. Now at the plate Lolo Sanchez a hit in two tries for him so far. First offering. Fifth inning, two to one our score. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. So now to the plate, Wilmer Defoe. Batting left handed here as he takes a look at strike one. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Swing and a ball hits softly on the ground. Go to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Last half of the fifth coming up. Indianapolis is out in front two to one. Now into the box Jared Young he's 0 for one after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Wheels and deals here's the first pitch. Well below the knees laid off on the change up there. Dangerous curveball that time, but laid off as it drops into the top of the zone. I know to the fans that probably looked like something good to hit, but unless you're sitting breaking ball right there, I don't care if it's middle of the plate. That's a tough pitch to pull the trigger on. Count is one and two now. Into the windup and the pitch. Sanchez patrolling center makes the play one out. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. 
So here is Chase Strumpf, and we'll see what he can do here after going deep his first time up. And I'm sure as he strides to the plate right here, he's certainly got to have a little bit more confidence. But that's not his game. He's got to get back to what makes him successful, put back to baseball, and try and drive something right back up the middle. The windup and the 0 1. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball, 1 and 1. This one is launched. Look at this. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. So a solo shot down the line in left, his second of the game, as we are all knotted up at two. Yeah, coming into this game, this guy was the least of their worries. I mean, come on. He's in the bottom half of the lineup. Not a threat, right? Wrong. This is the second homer of the game. Pretty soon, he's going to start chirping at the skip to move him up a couple spots. Standing in now, Miguel Amaya. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Struck out in his first at bat. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. One out, nobody on. Up high, two and one now. To the left side, but it's well foul. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a wall. Now batting, the pitcher, Ed. Patrick Wisdom will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with the runner at first and one gone in the inning. As a look, now the pitch. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. the 2 0 hey that's just a nice get me over curveball there to steal a strike I don't think he was looking for that one drilled on the ground is short He's got it. The throw to Defoe. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. Five innings complete, and we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Keegan Thompson takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Yeah. 
New inning set to get underway, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Will Craig. The first baseman, Will. Pitch on the way. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1 and 0. And now a left hander will start to get ready in the bullpen. Now the 1 0 is looked at for the first strike. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. The 1-1. One, one. Now an off-speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. And that's down into left center for a base hit. Man, that's a nice job by the batter right there, keeping the front side in. Not easy on a curveball. Would have been easy to throw the front side and hook that foul, but he was able to stay inside and drive it for a base hit. Into the box now, Blake Sable, as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. As we take another look here, you can see it's a two-seam fastball running away from him at the plate. So he does this smart thing, not trying to pull it or just rolling over it, just goes with it and has enough juice on it to drive it for a double. At the plate, Phillip Evans ripped down the first baseline. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Comes set with the 0 and 1. Strike 2 as the fastball is let go. This is a situation where the offensive player just needs to do his job. Take inventory, infield back, get you a ground ball somewhere in the infield, preferably off the corners, and get your team to lead. To one and two now. Big spot right here. That's a great pitch to try and see if you could get him to fish outside the zone. He's still in the driver's seat right now, and I'd expect something else to miss off the plate. The one two. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Scooped up, and he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Now back, Tony Now at the plate, here is Tony Walters. We'll see if he can deliver here. Runner still at second and third with one away now. And now the first pitch. With some traffic on the base pass, nice job by the pitcher to execute strike one. Oh, one, here's the pitch. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. Fouled away. In the air out to left. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And the go-ahead run will score on the sacrifice fly as this is now a 3-2 to two ball game. 
great work to do a job right there. He's not a big power bat, so he was looking to get a fly ball to the outfield and give his guy a third a chance. Now to the plate, here is Chris Sharp. Trying to keep the game close, here's the pitch. Hey, this pitcher's going to have to step off the mound right here and refocus. Take a deep breath, something. Can't keep falling behind and creating traffic. It puts everybody on edge, not only himself, his defense, and especially his manager. The set and the 1 0. And this one's too far inside, ball two. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. Three and oh now. And a fastball misses there, ball four. And you can tell by his body language that he's beyond frustrated by that call. He's got to be wondering what he's got to do, but the last thing he needs to do is to let it get under his skin. That will only make things worse. So here now is the pitcher, Quinn Priester, and a chance now to increase his lead if he can deliver something here with two gone. First offering. Something's clearly out of sorts with his delivery right now. Just walked the guy, and that pitch wasn't even within sniffing distance of the zone. Really fighting himself right now. 2 0 now. Drive snagged on a short hop on to first and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. So one run on two base hits no errors and two men left stranded top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth Indianapolis leads it three to two. So now here is Ian Miller. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, let's see if he can work a walk, maybe a knock, ground ball with eyes, something. Catch a gap to get this offense going. Two hits as a team can start demoralizing your confidence. But if he can get on and start some traffic in motion, we might have something. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. It's away the 0 1 pitch. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. Late swing on that curveball right there to run the count 0 2. Don't think he recognized that one too well. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. To two balls and two strikes now. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2 and 2. Into the windup and the pitch. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Sable is there, one away. Now batting, shortstop, Sergio Alcantara. And now in the box, Sergio Alcantara grounded out in his last at bat. First offering. Skied into straightaway right. Sable is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. The third baseman, number five, Matt Duffy. Stepping in next, Matt Duffy. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. 
Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A-B. He hit that ball on the screws. No balls in one strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Here's a fastball now that's hit softly down the line to third. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. And he is in the second with a two out double. Well his team took the lead and he's able to notch two outs thinking he's going to shut him down here and preserve the lead. Not so fast. Batter comes up laces a two out double and is a base hit away from coming home to tie this thing. Into the box, Cole Roderer, as he'll follow one into the dirt and come up empty for the first strike. It was a walk in his last trip. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. Hit sharply on the ground. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Now a long throw home. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. What a frustrating inning from a pitcher standpoint, Dero. You get the first two out of the inning, the field. next guy doubles, and then you give up a two out base hit to drive in a run. Yeah, you want to talk about on the complete flip side, firing up an offense. You see your two boys go down, two quick outs. You mix in a gapper right there. Double finds himself on second base, and he's able to come through. Next guy's able to come through with a big two out knock. Donnie Deweese is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. The 1 0. Count even now at 1 and 1. From the belt, kicks and deals. You know, I think his mechanics are starting to betray him a little bit. He's really lost the strike zone, and when that's the case, something is usually off at his delivery. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Roterer leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. This one sinks low on a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. This is on the ground over to first. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. And they won't even attempt to run on that arm in right. So despite the runner moving on the pitch, it will wind up first and second here. That's the difference in today's games. Pitchers will throw any pitch in any count. But the batter was able to deliver on a 3-2 breaking ball. Skipper out of the dugout making the slow trek to the mound. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. So he'll leave with a couple of runners aboard that are his responsibility meaning he'd be happy to get out of here with a no decision. Blake Cedarland trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Late now, Jared Young lifted down the line and left. Left fielder giving chase, and he brings it down to end the inning as the go ahead run is left stranded. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on.
seventh inning ready to roll and coming forward now is the shortstop Jiwon Bay. First pitch of the A.B. now. Inside with the fastball it's one and oh. And that's high and away and the count goes to two and oh. Fastball taken but that gets the zone for a strike. Lays off the change up and he's ahead in the count now three and one. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Line drive to center field and he'll break through with a solid knock here his first of the ball game. So that's how they'll start out their half of the seventh inning. Lolo. To the plate now Lolo Sanchez as he lifts it in the air to right field. Miller is in a few steps as he takes it for the first out. Now that second baseman. Wilmer. At the plate now is Wilmer Defoe. He bounced out last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. From the stretch. For the delivery, a check on that go ahead run at first. Off the plate and in, hits a ball and a strike. Possible go ahead runs on first, one away. In for strike two. That misses and we're even at two and two. It's a full count to Defoe now. Three balls and two strikes. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not, it's ball four anyways. Here's a look over to first. And he's back in standing. The 3-2 pitch. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And a very big mistake as that'll move the possible go ahead run into scoring position. Brad Wick will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seventh. Number 38. Will Craig will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. Has a look now the pitch. A fastball off the plate away it's ball one. And he won't bite at that one either it's two and oh. Now you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. The set and the 2 and 0. Oh. Blake Sable would be next. 
go ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. Swinging away there it's three and one. It'll be interesting if he comes in the zone aggressively again here with the base open he doesn't have to. The three and one pitch. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Now that the right field. Blade. Next to hit Blake Sable two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. From the stretch here's the pitch and here's a called strike at the knees don't think he liked that one too much but it's 0 and 1. Bay over at second Craig on at first with two down. And he falls behind 0 and 2. <laughs> 0 and 2 count. The pitch. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. Not sure if that was a purpose pitch or not, but I liked it. As a pitcher, sometimes you've got to be willing to back the guy off a plate by running something hard inside. You can't just let guys be comfortable standing in the batter's box against you. Struck him out. So a masterful job of being thrown into the fire and getting the big strikeout to end the inning. Clearly fired up to work out of that jam. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. Chase Strumpf to the plate again and looking for home run number three in the ball game. His second coming back in the fifth. First pitch of the AB on its way. comes the 0 1 good hard sinker swung on and missed 0 and 2 you have to find a way to lay off that low sinker there is just no way to do any damage you're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side tried to get him to chase the cutter there a ball and two strikes boy good cutting action to that pitch is that's the first out of the inning. Now batting. Next, it'll be Miguel Amaya. And now the first pitch. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here, and there are two away. That was a big strike out there, guys. The best pitchers have the ability to strike guys out when they really need to. And that second out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. Vance Viscaino will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. First pitch on its way. Cut fastball taken for strike one. 
He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. On could we see another strikeout here. It's 0-2 now. I try and tell people all the time, you're facing 90 to 92, 94. You can still see seams. It starts getting above 94. It starts to blur itself a little bit. You start pitching where this guy's at, you're seeing nothing. You're seeing vapor. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And a sinker there, swung on and missed for out number three. Rex Brothers has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Ready to begin the eighth and set to go as the third baseman, Philip Evans. Philip Evans. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. One pitch on its way. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Bounce to first. Fielded cleanly, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Next to stand in is Tony Walters. First offering. Shot down the line. It's a fair ball. He's through first and hustling for second. And he is in to second base with one away as the go ahead run. Sometimes you just got to tip your hat to the offense right there. Nice piece of hitting. Executed his pitch away again, but the hitter was able to stay on time. Stepping in now, Chris Sharp, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one couple of walks for him thus far. A ball and no strikes here it is. And a strike to even the count one and one. Nice adjustment out on the mound overthrew the first one a little bit but got on top and let that ball rip right out in front of him. The 1-1 one, one is taken for ball two. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. Well, that's a surprising late swing on a heater middle cut right there in a fastball count. He's going to have to turn it up a notch. Two two pitches fouled away. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. It's never a good look to strike out looking but it's way worse when you do it with a guy in scoring position. Those are the times you really want to see a guy battle and at least put the ball in play. Andrew Susak will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot.
first offering. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. To short. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. And we are all tied at three apiece. Sam Howard is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. go. Ian Miller, he flew out in his last AB. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the center fielder. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Now batting, shortstop, Sergio. Alcantara. Stepping up is Sergio Alcantara. Flew out last time up. First pitch on its way. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. Here's the 0 1. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 0 2 pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time. Laid off for ball one. A bouncer up the middle. Throw gets him. Two down. The third baseman, number five, Matt Duffy. So now to the plate, Matt Duffy is working on a one for three thus far. Ready to deliver, here comes the first pitch. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. Strike at the knees. Evens the count at one and one. One and one. Here it is. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. Long run for the right fielder. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in. Jiwon Bay singled last time up. 
First pitch on its way. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. And this is high, a ball and a strike. The 1 1. Check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. The 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. I think he had his mind made up. He was swinging the bat and trying to protect before the ball even left the pitcher's hand. That pitch wasn't even close. He would have needed a flagpole to hit that one. In now, Lolo Sanchez, as he'll take a look at ball one. He's got one hit in four at bats. The 1 0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. And he fouls this one off. I mean, he's coming right after him, Matty. Three fastballs in a row. One out, nobody on. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there, and he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. At the plate, Wilmer Defoe popped him up. Alcantara moving to his left. He handles it easily, and the inning is over. So they go down without a whimper here. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, and six coming up, and we are all tied at three apiece. All set for the bottom of the ninth, and next it'll be the outfielder, Cole Roderer. Here's the first pitch to him. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Uh, got him on a good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and it backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Standing in now, Donnie Deweese. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 1 0. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Now the 2 0 home. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike.
right side. Reined in. And an offline throw, but a good tag this time to get his man anyway. The first baseman. Digging in next, Jared Young. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. He's set and the pitch. Check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. A pause, and the 0 2 is a sharp slider taken low for a ball. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. Boy, he went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0 oh and 2, started nipping at the corners, and the next thing you know, this count stands at three and two. He set the payoff pitch and he lays off ball four. So now the potential winning run is aboard at first. Two ways to look at this walk. If you're the hitting coach, you say that's a great A.B. Down 0-2 and you work the walk. But if you're a pitcher like me, that's just a case of letting a guy off the hook. And that can really frustrate you. Next to dig in, Chase Strumpf. Game on the line here and a ball deep in the gap would make this place explode. Here's the first pitch. You know, a lot of guys don't like to swing at the first pitch. That might be the case with this one right here. Took a wheelhouse fastball, 0 oh, oh, center cut. Didn't even give the impression he was swinging. Back up the, oh, no, that got him. No chance to make a play. Let's see if he's okay out there. And time now to see quite where that got him. And it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. Tyler Bachelor takes the ball, needing to get the final out of the ninth to send this one to extra innings. And now here is Miguel Amaya. He's gone hitless to this point. Not a great game up to this point, but none of that would matter if he could come through right here. A chance to be the hero. Here's the first pitch. strikes for the third time a big time strikeout and some raw emotion as he gets out of the jam the three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here Kyle Ryan takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. Runner at second now. Nobody out. And up next is Will Craig. Will Craig. Here's the first pitch. In the dirt here. And a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. The 
the 1 0. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Now a sinker's low off the outside corner, two balls and a strike. Now the 2 1. Three and one. Three and two, full count. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. And he gets under this one as the ball is skied into very shallow right. Jim Brony backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Now batter, right fielder, Blake Sable. Big spot here, and it'll be Blake Sable. And a chance they walk him here to set up a double play that would keep the game tied. Here's the first pitch. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. And boy, this at bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0 and 2 now. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? The third baseman, number 24. Next up, Philip Evans. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much. 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make a man. Well, when your team really needs you like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. Here's the first pitch. Hit back up the middle. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. So one will win it here as we go to the bottom of inning number 10. And we are all tied at three apiece. Striding in is Trent Jimbroni, and he's got a chance to bring in the winning run. The question is whether they'll even pitch to him. Here's the first pitch. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. Good pitch right there to run the two-seamer in on his hands and bunch him up. And an easy ground ball is the result. Into the box, Ian Miller. As he'll chase one up around the letters here for strike one. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Fouled off. Possible game winners at second base here with one away. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. 
As a hitter, you got to be staunch in your game plan. You know he has a nasty changeup, and you got to fight to make sure it's in the zone. That's a great take right there. Lifted down the line and left. Sharp will drift over to his right a few steps as he takes it for the second out. Now batting, shortstop, Sergio Alcantara. Chance to walk it off, and now here is Sergio Alcantara. The winning run stands at second base. Here's the first pitch. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. 2 and 0 now. Possible winning runs at second with two down, however. 2-0 pitch a fastball inside and he's struggling here it's 3-0 Matt Duffy would be next three 0 here it is taking all the way and it's three and one now hey guys that fastball just registered 97 miles an hour on a night like tonight where it's super cold out if you don't get to head to that baseball right there and you get jammed, it's almost like getting stung by a pack of wasps. Now the three and two pitch. Possible winning runs at second with two down, however. Swing and a line drive. And that's in there. Base hit. The throw home. And he is out at the plate. Trying to end it once and for all. But we will play another inning as the side is retired. That'll bring up Tony Walters. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at-bat. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach this A.B. Low for ball one. This has to be a productive at-bat right here. I know you want to drive the run in and get the RBI, but you have to find a way, bare minimum, to move this runner over to third. The 1-0. A ball and a strike now. The one and one pitch. Lifted the other way out to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He makes the catch and tagging is the runner from second. And he is in there at third is the possible go ahead score. Next up is Chris Sharp and clearly this is a critical moment in this ball game. Go ahead run at third with one away. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Boy this is a dicey situation right here D where what the runner in scoring position the sack fly brings that run in. this is where you're going to really have to try to keep the ball on the ground as a pitcher. What do you want to do as a hitter D row. Yeah right here you are looking for anything above the belt you see it up you have to let it go this is where you have to check your ego at the door something has to be elevated and put into the outfield give your team a chance to score a run the one and one pitch in for a strike and he jumps ahead one and two now get the chainsaw out today boys if he's going to throw back to back cutters like that. We are going to have some guys getting some wood blown up in their hands. Now the one and two pitch and a swing and a miss. He struck him out and a big out there as the go ahead run stays at third with two gone now. 
That's a pretty unique pitch sequence, guys. Usually pitching is all about mixing pitches and location, but he threw that all out the window to get that strikeout. He offered the same pitch three times in a row, so I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. Hit hard on the ground to first. He's got it, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and a runner left on. It's getting late. One run can win it as we move to the bottom of the 11th, and we are all tied at three apiece. David Bednar takes over now to start the home 11th, and he's looking to get this one to the visiting 12th. Big at bat now, and here is Matt Duffy. The winning run stands at second base. Here's the first pitch. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. And he's way off balance with the swing there. swing and a fly ball right fielder is on the run and no one will track it down now the one and two pitch high and deep to right center long run for the center fielder he makes the play as the potential winning run tags from second and he'll make it up to third safely here with one away into the box Cole Roderer he's looking to bring home the winning run from third here's the first pitch the 1 0 and he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him one and one. The offensive approach here is simple. You know the pitcher's going for the K, so set your sights middle of the plate. And then don't worry about the infielders. They're so close, hard contact is a guaranteed ribby. Two and one. Possible winning run just 90 feet away here, one away. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. This is a spot you'd like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. The 3 1 pitch. And it's full now, 3 and 2. It's funny. That pitch. I can picture being in the box. That pitch looks so good to hit, and why does no one ever get to it? A good executed high fastball usually blows nine out of ten guys away. Ready with another two strike offering and another foul ball. Ready with another two strike offering. Here's a high pop up. Evans is there, and that's the second out of the inning. Up next, Donnie Deweese. A two out hit and win it. Pass baller wild pitch would do the trick just as well. Here's the first pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Oh 
pulled toward right center field. Long run for the center fielder. He's got it as the winning run is stranded to end the inning. Clearly fired up to work out of that jam. 11 innings can't decide it. On to the 12th. Still tied. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Adam Morgan gets the ball as he'll take over to start this 12th inning. On to the 12th frame in this one and stepping up as the shortstop Jiwon Bay. Here's the first pitch. And that misses for ball one. The 1 0. First two pitches off the mark here, it's 2 0. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2 0 doesn't exactly help the situation very much. Now the 2 0. side a dive and he knocks it down and he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single at the plate now Lolo Sanchez as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He has the possible go ahead run only 90 feet away at third base. The 0 1. Runners breaking for the plate. And a late squeeze attempt, and it looks like it's going to work. So they get the out at first, but the run will score on the suicide squeeze. So a gutsy call there as that takes some serious stones to call the suicide squeeze this late in the game, but the go-ahead run comes in to score. Stepping in now, Wilmer Defoe. Standing in from the right side as he takes strike one. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. This is in the air to left field. Hermosillo is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. The first baseman, number 35, Will Craig. Stepping in once again is Will Craig. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. From the stretch. You know, because this is just a one run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. The set and the 1 0. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. And it's fouled away. Ready with the 1 2. 
I think he's shown you right there he was trying to put you away with the off speed pitch have to be leery of that right there and take pull side away that'll keep you on all stuff fastballs and the off speed here's the two and two here's one that misses inside and the counts run full now three and two Blake Sable would be next runner in scoring position at second with two down. Had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. Here's the payoff pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. Hey, last two pitches back to back, off speed, then he's late on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Out of the stretch, the 3 2 home. Hard hit towards center. But this will not get down quickly enough as it's pulled in out there in center, and that ends the inning. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. And now we'll see if what's left of this crowd can rally their troops. Bottom of the 12th inning coming up. Indianapolis is out in front, 4 to 3. Clay Holmes enters from the pen now as they've saved their closer until this deep into extra innings. Now to bat, Jared Young, a base knock to the outfield, could score the tying run from second. First pitch on its way. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And this one's in the dirt. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to one and one. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. He's set. Here comes the one one. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. Here now the 2 2. Sharp ground ball to third. Scooped up. Throw to first is in time for the first out. So the next to bat will be Michael Hermosillo trying here to plate the tying run from second. He's set. Here it comes. Looked to be a sinker there, up in the zone a bit, but called a strike. I always remember John Smoltz telling me the greatest asset a closer can have is short term memory. And this situation calls for it right here. He's got to forget that he has any traffic on a base pass and just attack the zone. Sinker misses that time, and it's two and one. Strike two as he locks him up there. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. 
And he'll make it to third safely, so your tying run is 90 feet away with only one gone. Next, it'll be Miguel Amaya, the potential tying run for him at third base. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Ooh, he's really in trouble, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. This guy needs to find the strike zone in the worst way. The 1-0 home is in off the plate. Boy, this hole he's digging on the mound is all his doing. If you can't throw strikes, you're not going to be out there very long. Here's a ground ball through the hole. It's a base hit. Coming in to score is the runner from third, and we are once again tied in extra innings. You know, D-Row, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late innings, so that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen, and I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sink and cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. In now, Trent Jimbroni, as he gets a good curveball here to start the at-bat. It's strike one. The winning run at second, however, the double play in order here. The 0 1. Possible game winners at second base here with one away. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him. One and two. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches, anything on the outer half of the plate is going to look a foot outside. And he takes a look at strike three called. And that's as important as they come there. Two big outs now. Big strikeout for the second out there, but he's not out of it yet. We'll see if he can feed off that K, wiggle out of the jam, and keep this game tied. At the plate, Ian Miller, as he looks at a fastball on the inside corner for strike one. Attempting to, as they say, get off the schneid here. 0 for 5 so far. The 0 1 offering. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. The 1 and 1 pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Sanchez is there to make the catch, and that means we've got more baseball ahead. So one run here on one hit, no errors, and a couple of men left. Thirteenth inning ready to begin, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Blake Sable. Here's the first pitch. Fouled away. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. Now the one and two pitch. 
He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. Standing in now, Philip Evans. As he'll take a look at a high strike here on the outside corner, it's 0-1. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Here's one that misses high. It's 1-1. One one. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. Fastball called strike one and two. Now the one and two pitch and a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. So stepping in is Tony Walters. He's got three hits including a double to this point. Here's the first pitch and a change up here misses off the corner to start him out. It's ball one. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. And he looks at a slider in there one and one. The one and one pitch. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. A good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. The set and the two and one. 2-1 pitch is a slider taken for a cold strike two. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking heater. The set and the 2-2. And he strikes him out here for out number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. So they pick up no runs, no base hits, no errors, and a runner left. Yet another shot to end it right here as we move on to the home half of the inning. And we are tied 4-4. Now it'll be Sergio Alcantara. The winning run Leading stands at second base. Not shortstop. Sergio Alcantara. Here's the first pitch. Grounded up the first baseline. Field it cleanly, and he'll take this to the bag himself for the first out, but it's a productive one as the runner now moves up to third. third Big spot here, and it'll be Matt Duffy, though they might pitch around him here with a couple of bases empty. Here's the first pitch. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Possible winning run just 90 feet away here, one away. Strike two on the curveball, 0 and 2. Yeah, this is straight survival mode. Down 0 2, the numbers are definitely not with the batter here. Ball, but he can't get him to chase it one and two. Definitely a strikeout situation here with the runner on third, so that's smart. Trying to make him chase that slider out of the zone. Two balls and two strikes to Duffy. All right, no more hoping he's going to chase. 
it's two and two now. You've got to come up with the best pitch right here because this is definitely a strikeout situation. Possible winning run just 90 feet away here, one away. High drive deep down the left field line. A ball that's carrying. And he makes the catch in the corner. And that's going to do it as they walk off as winners here in the 13th. That's what you call doing your job, folks. He knew he just needed to lift one to the outfield, and that's just what he did. Hey, a walk-off sack fly isn't as dramatic as a game-winning hit, but it's just as effective. Great team win right there. This evening's game comes to an end 5 4 the final tally Adam Morgan claims the win out of the pen his first so that'll put a wrap on things here this evening for my partners Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa I'm Matt Vaskersian this has been a special presentation of MLB the show for more follow us on Twitter at MLB the show. Our final line score first for the victorious Iowa Cubs five runs eight hits no errors they left ten men on base for Indianapolis four runs on ten hits.